this militia group is well armed and some look very young. They are loyal to the warlord Cobra Matata from the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. He's believed to have as many as 1,500 troops. There's talk of signing a peace deal and joining the National Army, but militia leaders say they haven't heard from the government in over three weeks. They suspect the other side could be planning an attack. We are soldiers. We know how to fight. If the government doesn't listen, we won't join the National Army or give up our weapons. We will strategize and make them take us seriously. They know laying down their weapons makes them vulnerable. On Wednesday, the International Criminal Court at The Hague found former warlord Thomas Lubanga guilty of recruiting child soldiers. That's why Cobra Matata's men insist on amnesty and a guarantee they can keep their weapons and military ranks when and if they decide to join the National Army. While negotiations continue, they've moved into a nearby village. Out in the bush, these men use force to take what they want and they often get away with it. But now they're living with civilians. The longer it takes to integrate them into the National Army, the more frustrated they're going to get. Government officials haven't yet met their demands. Talks could collapse and they'd return to the bush and fight. Villagers enjoy relative stability while the two sides negotiate, but they know that could easily change. We are traumatized. People are killed and children stolen from us whenever there is fighting. We want peace, but both sides have to compromise because we are the ones who suffer when they fight. The government has demobilized some fighters since the civil war ended, but the East is still plagued by army and militia violence. It's a battle for control over the country's vast mineral wealth that is fueling the conflict, one that could likely continue from one generation to the next. Harumitasa Al Jazeera in the Democratic Republic of Congo.